Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And I have a winner here. And you know who it is. It's Karen Tolles. Karen Tolles from the 7th District. And she was on Ed Brown's show before the election. And now, hey, she's a winner in the set from the 7th District. Karen, tell me something. This 7th District, what, what, give us a little uh, idea of what, where it's located. Absolutely. The best district in Prince George. If All I can right. be a little biased, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's located, um, I have the, some of the southern part of the county as well as so, some of the central part of the county, and it starts, I want to say, in Sea Pleasant, Capitol Heights, goes down to Suitland, uh, Forestville, District Heights, um, as well as Hillcrest Heights and Marlow Heights. Mm -hmm. So I have, you know, wow. north to the south. <laughs> north to the south, yes. right across the, uh, what's that, uh, from Route 50 on down, going south, right? Sort of, yes, yeah. right, yes, right. sort of, right? Uh, right. Between Martin Luther King Avenue, I uh -huh. uh, have some portions down in that area, the Sea Pleasant All area. Right. So. All right. Mm -hmm. I have to talk to you about the Sports and Learning Center, too. Yeah, that um, is in Council District 5. Yeah. But it's right next door. Yeah, next door. Right next door. They, they're going to need the help and, you know, doing okay. some work. I'll, we'll talk we'll about We'll talk offline? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, anyway, uh, tell us some of the things that since winning uh, your council seats, <laughs> uh, I know that's a terrific uh, achievement for you. Yes, it and is. And we're so happy for you. Yeah. And just tell us some of the awards that you've received already. Yes. Yes, I am I'm, I just want to say that I'm so blessed and honored to serve the people of District 7 and I, I'm happy and um you know can be more thrilled that they put their faith and belief in me to represent them and I tell them all the time that I work for them and um anything they need uh I will do within my powers you know <laughs> <laughs> um and so I'm blessed and honored to serve them but some of the um accolades that I received during uh this short period of time I've been right. in office for about eight months so. right so I've been in office for about eight months, and mm -hmm. some of this, you know, um, some of the awards that I received mm -hmm. was, I received uh, uh, legis. Uh, you want to start with that? Yeah, well, sure. Start. I start with uh, some of my partners in District Seven, which is a certificate of appreciation from the town of Capitol Heights mm -hmm. for the work um, for the partnership I have with them and working with them on a number of projects and also the support that I give them. Um, it's extremely important for me to support. Uh, they are one of two of my municipalities and it's important for them to have the support of their council member um, in Prince George's County. So I'm happy uh, to mm -hmm. partner with them on a number of activities. Mm -hmm. Um, also received award from the Training Source, which is a business mm -hmm. in District 7, and they are located in C. Pleasant. And uh, Ms. Kim Rum is the mm -hmm. executive director of Is, is of that, that associated with uh, the Patriots? You you familiar with the no? Patriot? They no. are business of C Pleasant, but no, that's no. this. This is different. This mm -hmm. is a training source, and we actually have a youth leadership mm -hmm. program in District Seven. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they train our youth mm -hmm. to be the next leaders. And actually, this past year, we had two students that were part of the District Seven Youth Leadership Program, mm -hmm. or were valedictorians. Mm -hmm. One was from um, Central High School. Congratulations! The, yes, and the other was from uh, Suitland High School no. and so it's fantastic yes wow. So, wow. I mean we are training up our youth in a fantastic way and mm. I'm happy to be working with the training source um, mm. and also um, I provide funding along with parking planning for them wow so they have an uh, I'm a partner as well as parking planning to help fund mm. this effort to train our mm. youth to be our next leader so mm. now now how much time does it take and how do you apply or, uh, you know, be a part uh, of the youth leadership program. Of, yes. Yeah, well, they're actually accepting uh, ex accepting applications now, Good. and you could contact my office, and I think you will provide that number at the end. Mm -hmm. But right. you can also contact the training source, um, and they're and they're located, like I said, in Sea Pleasant. But if you contact my office, we will make sure that we get those applications to you. And it's open. And the training source, we like to have students students in there from the ninth grade through the twelfth grade. It's important that you train them mm -hmm. and you nurture them from the very beginning throughout their years in high school to adequately prepare them uh, for their next phase in life. And so I'm, I'm happy uh, to be partnering and training our youth. And so just call my office for an, an application. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so we have one from my partners mm -hmm. um, in government. We have one from uh, a business in the county that are doing mm -hmm. fantastic things with mm -hmm. our youth. Um, and they, she's actually a nonprofit, so oh. um, the training source, which is fantastic. We need to mm -hmm. support our nonprofits as much as possible. Yes. And the other one is from um, the Washington, D.C. Building Trades Council, and mm -hmm. I was the legislator of the year. I received no that kidding. award. Yes. Legislator of the yes. year. Congratulations. Yes. I didn't Thank know you. that myself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. So. so. So yeah, and um, and I'm I'm very honored and shocked to receive that award. Mm. And I am uh, so so happy to partner with them because they offer a number of apprentice mm. programs mm -hmm. for for our our uh, county residents. They mm -hmm. have twelve uh, training centers, twelve. Name, and, name some of them. Get, um, we have Sheet Metal Workers Local mm -hmm. Union, who is located in Suitland, Maryland. They're mm -hmm. right there on uh, Silver Hill Road, and they train youth, well, not just youth, but they train our citizens in Prince mm -hmm. County to be sheet metal workers. And you and they pay yes. for the program, It's a and, and you must be accepted into the program. We have the iron workers that are located in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. We have the bricklayers. We have the plumbers. We have the electricians. Uh, we have a number of uh, trades, and it's the mm -hmm. trades. They train individuals to be ready for careers mm -hmm. in the trade, and they are stringent apprentice programs. You must be accepted into the program, but you can almost guarantee that you wouldn't have um, a skill for life. Mm -hmm. And you know, for construction purposes, oh, wow. you have to have a number yeah. of skills um, to work in the construction industry. And as we look at economic development in Prince George's County, mm -hmm. we want our residents to be working. We mm -hmm. want them, and we want those individuals on their jobs. So to know that we have training centers. Um, right here in the county. Right here in the county. Right. And we need to utilize them more. And mm -hmm. so I will talk later in the program about two Two pieces of legislation that I put forward. Mm -hmm. uh, one has already passed mm -hmm. uh, this year, mm -hmm. and the other one I'm looking to pass in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, but it has a direct correlation with trying to work with um, the trades mm -hmm. and the apprentice programs in Prince George's County so that we can get our citizens not just job ready, but career ready. Right. And as you know, mm -hmm. President Obama just talked about that um, recently right. um, about apprentice programs and how important it is to train um our nation to train mm. uh to get people job ready and career right. ready and so to know that we are headed in that direction in the county mm. i think is uh, a win for us yes. as a county very crucial leaders. very crucial and yes. so i'm happy mm. that they felt that i was um mm -hmm. that they bestowed that honor upon honor, me yeah. yes to be I'm their legislator because it's the right year. on time you know it's the, yes. the need is there the need oh my it's, gosh it's, it's just tremendous yes yeah. tremendous and there's other and they usually they work very closely with state officials mm -hmm. to award them prevailing, uh, those individuals who worked on prevailing wage and living mm -hmm. wage. As you know, our citizens need to be able to make a living wage, but this is one of the first times that they actually given it to an, a council member. They, I think they awarded Montgomery County Council with mm -hmm. uh, the same uh, plaque, but mm -hmm. this is the first time they actually gave it to a county council member. And so no, I'm honored. Yeah, yeah, they know that I Congratulations support. Congratulations again. Yes, thank you. They know that I'm yeah. in support of because what they're Because it's so timely. Is, you know, yeah. and, and the need of it yes. is just, you can't overemphasize, you know, you because can't. what happens is that uh, uh, with the economic situation, you know, mm -hmm. uh, college, what it costs, $40,000 a year, yes. and, and uh, <laughs> you, you end up graduating and uh, you got a house note. Yes. You pay back. Well, well, you can't but get a house note because you, you, <laughs> right. you can't, you can't get a job. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you get one, but I'm just saying, paying get, back the loan. Paying back the loan. But because what we need to do and what you're doing is getting involved with the trades. Yes. The trades, because one of the things, the different projects, just like you're saying, that they have, Prince George County is moving forward. They, yes. they, they, we have more undeveloped land than any other jurisdiction. Absolutely. And there's going to be a lot of jobs here in Prince George County. And there we want, be. like you're doing, we want to prepare the youngsters when the jobs come, hey, look, 
Yes. They, they will have the training and the avenue Absolutely. to get those jobs. And, you know, and it's one crucial thing. We have a number of high schools in Prince George's County that mm -hmm. offer apprentice programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Sulin High School, just to name a school within District 7, mm -hmm. that has an entire vocational wing. Mm -hmm. And we know that our students need math skills, need science right. skills. It doesn't take away from what they're already learning right. in high school. But this gives them another option mm -hmm. to say that, hey, I want to go into the construction industry. These tests, they have to take tests to get in. Mm -hmm. They have to be, uh, understand math mm -hmm. skills and science mm -hmm. skills. They, they have to understand blueprint drawings. Yes. Um, so this is. I mean, you, you have that has to be taught. That has you can't to be just taught. Pick, you can't just pick up a blueprint and say this goes here. That, yeah. Yes. And Mr. Brown, would you want someone working in your house that don't understand, uh, right. you know, the basic skills it takes to be an electrician? Right. Um, and so these skills and trades, they are already learning in our high school. And we as a county are moving toward more economic development. Like you mentioned, yes. I have five, I have the most metro stations than any of uh, my right? colleagues in the county council. Yes. You do? Yes. And that yeah, is well, the well, wave that, of the future. Right. Here, that's what I'm saying. Development. The idea. Mm -hmm. and, is, and yes. Is, that's what they're looking forward yes. to is yes. the development around the, the metro yes. stations. And our, and with this and 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 with the trades we have individuals that live in Prince George's County they need to be the ones receiving the jobs working on these right. construction and, and trades. Have, have a preference too and have preference yeah. and the training what? centers are in the county right in the county and so they never get a, they rarely get opportunity to work on jobs in Prince George's right. County exactly and, and and one key element is this you know what I'm so passionate about this issue because they have an opportunity to work on construction jobs in the county. I can almost guarantee us as a county, if you give them an opportunity to be more involved in the development and the construction, they will turn around and invest in the county. Mm -hmm. The training centers are here, mm -hmm. but unfortunately within those training centers, we they rarely get the opportunity to work on the construction projects yeah. we have. Right. Um, therefore, those training centers are putting their workers to work in other jurisdictions so they're investing in other jurisdictions when they work we right. want our workers to our our residents this, that are working someplace else to work, work here in the here. county so they can invest in the county right. and that's crucial mm -hmm. also one why it's crucial is that um when I, I you know I, I don't know if, if you want me to get into the my two pieces of two pieces of legislation as it relates to the trades right no, now. No, go ahead. Okay, Fine. um this past year we passed uh CR38 mm -hmm. which is if you receive public dollars you must enter into an apprentice program. Mm -hmm. If you are recipient of the taxpayers' dollars, so mm -hmm. what that says is that that was upgraded from uh CR89 which set uh, standards for minority local um, participation and minority getting more opportunities to get um, construction. I'm um, sorry to get um, uh, uh, opportunities for for bids and jobs yes. in the county. Yeah, so right. what it does now is say that we add an apprentice component onto that to say, okay, not only must you, you know, keep in mind the minority goals we mm -hmm. have, but you must now enter and have your workers enter into a, a, mm -hmm. an apprentice program. Right. What we're doing is we're getting our uh, residents job ready and career ready, mm -hmm. career ready. We know that if you are using the public mm -hmm. dollars, how yeah. can the citizens benefit? And so right. they can benefit by hopefully mm -hmm. being able to work on these construction jobs, but also if you mm -hmm. do not have an apprentice program, mm -hmm. you must um, put your workers through one. Mm -hmm. So you can still get the money, but you have to put right. your workers through Well, you're in a position to, to make the legislation so that anyone coming and actually building mm -hmm. uh, in Prince George County, they have to qualify Absolutely. those programs. Okay, this is uh, Ed Brown. We'll be back in a second. Hi, welcome back to the second half of the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Now, number one guest here today is Councilman Karen Tolles. I mean, it's fantastic the things that she's involved with. And all you young people and the older ones too. Hey, look, this is something that she has brought to the county. I know she had to fight to get the legislation in, but that's the good part.